guys, Tyler Wood here from Cobalt Banker up in Big Bear Lake, and I wanted to do a uh, real estate market breakdown for 2010 for uh, the Big Bear market. So here we go. There were 899 uh, residential sales last year. You can see the graph here. Um, you've got 899 sales in 2010, and uh, last year there were, or sorry, 2009, there were 892, so a little bit better than the previous year. But you can see uh, a lot farther down from what we were seeing in 2003, 2004, and 2005. So number of sales still um, on the low end for uh, the last you know, five or six years compared to previous years. Uh, the average sales price per year uh, for the homes that sold in 2010, the average price was $252,000. Um, quite a bit down from what the peak was in 2006 and 2007. Um, and lower by about 20,000, 24,000 lower than last year, or I'm sorry, uh, 2009. The median sales price, 196,500. Again, about 15,000 below uh, what it was in 2009, and quite a bit lower than the 319 that we saw in 2006. The uh, home sales, the breakdown for uh, by month, uh, you can see the uh, purple line there is the total sales. In the last few months of the year were actually the best. Um, the other uh, lines represent uh, bank-owned properties, which is the red line, short sales, which is the green line, and the total sale, I'm sorry, and uh, organic sales, which is the blue line. You can see organic sales picked up at the end of the year, and so did short sales, while bank-owned kind of dropped off a little bit. But that's the breakdown um, for the year for the uh, home sales. This is the, uh, of the 899, uh, 465 or 52% were organic, 315 or 35% were foreclosure, and 119 or 13% were uh, short sales. By area, uh, Big Bear City at 24%, there were 217 sales, that was the highest uh, number of sales in any area. Big Bear Lake, which is grouped by Big Bear Lake West, Big Bear Lake Central, and Big Bear Lake East, totaled 21%. Moon Ridge was at 18%. Irwin Lake at 8%. Fox Farm at 8%. Sugarloaf was at 15%. So those make up the majority of the areas where properties are selling. And by price range, 91% of the homes that sold were under 500000 So that's an important stat. 91% um, of the market right now is under 500000 So if you're over 500000 there's uh, not a lot of activity in that price range, obviously. So 64% is under 250,000, and 27% is between 250 and 500,000. The average sales price per area, uh, Big Bear Lake East, which is the area near Snow Summit and Eagle Point Estates, uh, I'm sorry, Eagle Point and towards the village, uh, was uh, one of the highest areas at 444,000, along with Fox Farm at 446,000. Um, a couple of these numbers are a little misleading. You look at an area like Lake Williams showing in at 262,000, but it only had three sales, so that number could be skewed quite a bit. And same with Whispering Forest at uh, 256,000, but there was only four sales in that area. Uh, Fonskin came in at 323. Big Bear Lake West, which is out near Boulder Bay, came in at 354. The low end of the range is Sugarloaf at 115,000, uh, which is uh, understandable because that's generally where you're going to find a lot of pr prices in the 100,000 to under 100,000 range. The average days on the market over the past uh, six or seven years, uh, you can see we're down at 61 days on the market average for 2003. It's gone up to 135 in 2008, and now we're at 119 uh, for the average number of days in the market for the homes that sold. And average list price to sale price ratio, you can see when the market was really hot, we were at 98%. It dropped down to 94% in 2008, and right now we're at 95%. What's important on this is, uh, you know, if you're a buyer and you're looking to get a huge discount off the price, you have to look at these numbers. Um, the average list price to sale price right now is 95%. So if a property is listed at 200,000, it's most likely going to sell in the range of 190. Um, you know, most properties up here are not selling. You know, if they're listed at 200,000, they're not selling for 150. It's just not realistic, and it's not what the market is showing, as this graph is showing. The average sales price per square foot over the last five or six years. Um, you can see we peaked there in 2006 at 276 uh, bucks a foot, and last year the sales were $162 a foot. 
So that's the breakdown for 2010. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. It's Tyler at the Timwoodgroup.com. And thanks for listening.